Hey boys and girls, this is Larry with UBRailroad.com. Check me out. Today we're going to show you how to make a little tender for your 040, whether it's an LGB or whatever you got. Uh, it's very simple to make. You'll have zero dollars in it. Take you about an hour and it'll put a lot, a lot of character and, and, and a lot of coolness into your railroad. I'm going to grab the tripod here. I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to bring you in here. And uh, here's, here's what I did. Okay, here's my little 040. You can see I got it, you know, tricked out all kinds of ways, you know. Put my logos and stuff on it and, you know, uh, birds up on the roof and all of that. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the tender. As you can see, I get kind of carried away when I start making things. If I think I'm doing a neat job and I like the results, I'll make a couple, three of them. This one was an old, I don't know what the heck it was, one of those plastic cars you buy for five bucks. It's got plastic wheels. I just cut it out of this one. But let me show you this one. This is the one that was totally scratch built. Started out with just a plain uh, truck. And then from the truck, I finished it off like this, okay? Notice how I sidestepped this. I put a little coal stop up in the front. I put little uh, support braces everywhere. You could use square. You could use round. You could use whatever you want to do. You know, there's, there, there's no real scientific way to do this. Just whatever works for you, whatever you're comfortable doing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your frame. Then you're going to take your, your bigger woods. These are like half inch. And you're going to make a little box that goes around it, okay? And you're going to glue it. Now when you do this, there's two ways to do this. You can either put it, put your piece in here and drill your hole for your screw and mount everything above the, the wheels, or you make the frame so that the wheels are on the inside. However you want to do it, no biggie. Okay, mine are on the inside, okay? Because I like little skinny stuff because my railroad is so tight that sometimes a car go through there and it's only got like an eighth of an inch, but uh, clearance in a tunnel. But you can kind of see how I did that, okay? And then uh, if you want to, uh, you could take your truck and at this time you could weather your truck. Just hold it about this far away with the can of, I use like a, uh, a rust looking color and I missed it. Psst, psst, psst. You know, psst, psst, psst. you can kind of see how this side got heavy and not, you know, that's what you want because a vehicle on the railroad or a car, an engine, whatever it is, they don't rust all identical, okay? So first of all, that's unrealistic. Not that I'm a rivet counter, but I'm just telling you. Now these, this one here, I didn't do it. Uh, this one, you can kind of see how I did it, okay? Makes it look a little more authentic, okay? So anyway, when we're all done with that, or all done, we're gonna get started, we make our frame, we use old junk wood, you know, anything you could find, you know, uh, make your sides out of it. Uh, I bought one of these. This is about the fifth one I've gone through. They do an excellent job. You buy these at Menards or Walmart for about 15 bucks. And you take them and, like, you take your popsicles, you cut your tip off. See how nice and neat that is? Okay, you need a 45. There. Doesn't get any faster than that. And you can do a million of them. And I'll just show you how accurate it is. Here's two 45s. Look what happened when you put them together. Perfect fit. You can make little pictures. Okay. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Now I'm going to take you into the computer. And I got three pictures there that I'm going to show you how to put all this together. And uh, some of the little uh, tips that I used for you know, the coal, putting the coal in and what have you, and, you know, how to weather it out a little bit. So let's go in on the computer, and we could go from there. But before that, I just want to tell you that, you know, there's a couple ways on the computer. I'm going to show you by using a piece of cardboard that goes from the front to the back like that. You can use anything in there. Put toilet paper, tin foil, old wood, uh, a garbage bag, anything, and just get the configuration you want. I want mine to slope down. I want it to look like they've been used, okay? So I get my coal to slope down like that. And if you want it humped over and then put a, leave this off, leave this board off and put it on the top and put your, your plate there, you know, uh, like the transfer plate. Say you can just glue that on there so that when it overhangs the train like this, 
it looks realistic like the guy's got something to step on and then step on here then throw his coal into the boiler but you get the idea of all of this cheap simple fun to build make your son build it uh, give him a project he's gonna make mistakes which is great because I always say in my modeling I never make a mistake I just add character so, give me a minute guys okay here's the first picture you notice I got a piece of cardboard up there in the corner that's right here then I've got the sides right here they're already pre-cut and the back and the front here's the frame and here's the side post the truck then in the next picture I glue it all together okay I make my box so it sits right up here I screw it in then I align all these up so all of these will match and fit like you'll see in the next picture okay see I put the frame on here the sides and back and everything's ready to go okay so then the next thing is I don't have a lot of these unfortunately I just got a couple of them but you kind of see how it's going together now okay it goes together real easy like this and then when you're all done uh, you're gonna end up with something like this it's very simple uh, there's no real big uh, strategy or technique or anything to this put it together any way you want to I want you to notice see how I got the sides like this okay I wanted mine to be on the inside so that they didn't realize that they had steel pockets available back then and another nice thing when you go to spray paint this you spray right over the top of it and the mist will fall down like this and give it that illusion of coal dust everywhere so so this is what you do uh, put this all together I put this cardboard in here because it angles like this it goes front to back goes high the reason I did that is because you get too much coal in there and it gets heavy okay but after you make your frame put your sides up put it in there put that piece in there you could probably stick a piece of wood like right back in here back in this area to keep it up to help support it uh, and then put a layer of glue white glue all over the bottom nice and thick and then fill it full of I used aquarium black rock and it came with purple and blue rocks in there and I picked them out but when you get the black rocks they're nice and big but they're shiny very shiny so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your first layer in and pat it in real good after that dries put another layer in and then build it up to the way you want it to look if you want it to slope down or humped over however you want to do put it in there then saturate it with a diluted 50 50 white glue because it'll get way down into the pores and won't leave big clumps of white then when you're all done you set this on the floor and you stand about 12 inches above it and you missed it psst, psst, psst. and that's how you how you spray that don't go psst because you, you'll get too thick of it and it won't look as good as like just trying to make it look real dirty and uh, you know fatigued and weathered and everything else so, th so, so that's what you're gonna do and then when you're all done you've seen the results it's nice and easy nice and cheap I think I don't I, I don't have a dime in this I mean I these are old trucks you can see they're all yucky but uh, you know unless you go out and buy the popsicle sticks and the skinny sticks if you got a scrap pile and you dig this stuff out uh, you won't have anything in it you could cut this uh, on a saw you could cut it on that hand uh, climper crimper I showed you any way you want to do it but uh, you get the end result of it and uh, it looks really nice behind your little old 4 -0 because those are water tanks on the side but a lot of people run them without tenders and it's okay but if you put a tender behind it it really gives it a lot of character a lot of action so good luck with this any questions feel free to call me back on ubrailroad.com this is Larry over and out